everybody, Stephen here for Northwest Small Batch Brewing. Welcome back to Single Malt Sunday. Uh, it's a little cooler today, I'm all a little muggy. Um, it's been a strange summer. I don't know about the rest of the country or where you're at, but um, boy, it has been super hot here, like un uncharacteristically hot, and then muggy. Uh, I mean, not East Coast, you know, United States muggy. I can't complain that much, but it is just uh, un unusual weather for us. And unfortunately, I think it's going to continue this sort of way, and that's a bummer. You can see how much of this I got left. So the, last week I did the Laphroaig, uh Sherry Oak Cask um, Whiskey, and it's only fair that I do the Ardbeg, sort of similar one. So let's see, last week's the... Um, the Lafroig was 48% ABV. This one is the Arbeg Ukdal, Ukadal, or I don't know, or or how the whiskey tribe calls it, the Ukdal. <laughs> so um, this one is a higher ABV. This is 54.2%. So basically, this is like a cask strength whiskey. Uh, obviously, it's peated. It's from Ardbeg, and. Uh, one major difference besides the ABV from the Laphroaig is that it has no age statement. The Laphroaig is the 10-year put on uh, sherry. We don't know about this one. This may not be the 10-year Ardbeg that's put on sherry. We don't know. Um, no age statement. Uh, it is non-chill filtered, and I believe the Laphroaig did not say whether it was or not. I think that it's not just because it's Laphroaig, but, I mean, if they don't say, got to think that it might be because... I mean, that's a checkbox for a lot of um, distilleries. But at any rate, already on paper, this whiskey checks far more boxes than the Laphroaig, uh, the Sherry Oaked whiskey. Sorry, I know some people are super like major Laphroaig heads and some are Ardbeg heads. And uh, I like them both. So Ardbeg tends to be a little bit rougher, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, the uh, Ukdal, I've obviously had this one before. And I'll tell you what. I will definitely replace this bottle when it's empty. But let's get into it. So you definitely get some peat, but it's not the smoky peat, peatiness. The, the sherry really dampens the, the, the nose on this. It's not that heavy peated smell you get from the Arbeg 10. Much more perfumey, uh, like from the, from the um, sherry, obviously. And, and sweetness. And the longer you smell it, you do start to smell like the smoke down deep into it. I just love peat smoke. It's so different than anything else. It's more outdoorsy and campy, you know? Anyway, can't be like camping outdoors. Um, uh, yeah, so obviously this is going to punch you a little bit, being 54.2%. It's quite sweet. Um... I get brown sugar on this, kind of like, uh, yeah, just you can uh, definitely a sweet brown sugar. You get the smokiness. Like I said, for me, it's like a campfire, outdoors you campfire smoke. Um, the other thing is from the sherry influence, I feel like you get a lot of raisin, which is typical of, of sherries and something that I quite like. Oh, man. For me, this is leagues above the Lefroy sherry cask. So good. Um, it does it does hit hard, though, if you're not used to that higher ABV. Um, now, if you put some water in it... Do one more, one more, one more. Again, I know I, I say this every time, but thank you to the um, uh, lady from Enter on YouTube for providing um, this little dropper. This is really handy. Put some distilled water in it, and uh, that's super handy. So I appreciate that. So I was just using my fingers to dribble water in before. Oh, wow. It really does change it uh, in this case with this particular whiskey. Usually the higher ABV ones are the ones that are going to change. It really brings out the smokiness, almost like a, I don't want to say bacon, but maybe smoked bacon. Oh yeah, it, it really mellows it a little bit so it's not punching you so hard in the throat. And it brings out the sweetness. 
I recommend a, a few drops of water in this one, personal opinion. Obviously, everybody's taste is different. But at any rate, I think this one may be a slightly more expensive one. But if you can get it and afford it, save it for special occasions. <laughs> this is a fantastic whiskey. This is definitely in my top tier of whiskeys. Uh, I love it. So at any rate, I hope you're having a good day and enjoying a good whiskey. And I'll be back next week for another uh, whiskey taste. And until then, sláinte.